just in the nick of time. You're a professional organizer. And also this morning we were talking about organizing for baby. Yes. We should say that because we didn't know my, my son was coming next week. So yes. this is just like pure coincidence and dumb luck and we love it because Good. I have about four days to get myself ready. We have this fallen a little start. bit behind. I'm not going to lie at our house. Okay, <laughs> so we've got a lot of tips, lots yeah. of things to get to. So we're going to start things off over here. Mm -hmm. You've got, it looks like a little changing station type apparatus. See, you're, you'll be fine. You know what you're doing. You'll I can recognize okay. the diaper. <laughs> Check. Yeah. So basically, with a baby, you really want to plan for and anticipate disasters. And the middle of the night diaper change is not the time to realize when you're out of wipes. So Correct. I like having like, a little bag. Yes. <laughs> like, uh oh. Um, I like having a little basket with all the essentials. So we have the diapers, wipes, hand sanitizer, diaper cream, washcloth. I also like having a little roll of like plastic poop bags. Okay. Um, not just for dirty diapers, but for soiled clothes. Because you don't want to just throw that in with the rest of the stuff. No. See, I didn't even just, think about yeah, that, but yeah. yes. It's, it's handy to have. Yes. If you don't have room on the actual changing table, um, a really good tip is to think vertical. So you can put uh, a little towel rod or bar right on the wall, right above the changing okay. table, and hang cute little oh, baskets, and, this, and then you can this, put stuff. This is really interesting here. So this will hang out. Yeah, this would hang just on the okay. on the bar. Because I actually looked at our changing table yesterday, yeah. and I love it. And I was like, what if I, I'm a clutter person. Mm -hmm. So okay, and you this. don't like have anything yeah. on. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so this you is can good. have even bigger baskets and just hang everything there, and it's on the wall. And then Got you. Done. I'm with you. All right. What is this about? <laughs> so, babies grow out of stuff really, really fast. I heard. Yes. They, I they heard grow. after it's I bought crazy. a lot of zero to three month size yeah. clothes that those We're, are essentially done with. Okay. Rookie mistake. Exactly. That's okay. <laughs> no, but um, I really like having a bin labeled too small and too big. Friends are going to buy stuff for you, so you want to have. You want to be prepared when those transitions happen. So you can throw something like this in the closet, um, in a drawer. If you're really lacking space, you can even th put them right under the crib. Right. So that way you can put all the two small stuff and then pack that up later, hand them off to the next they can, one. Wait, go home with big. this one because again, <laughs> we pick a lot of the wrong sizes. Okay, so too small, too big. Too small, too big. You can big. keep it for the next child or donate to charity. Always, always a good yes, idea. Yes, okay. For sure. The diaper bag. Everyone diaper has bag. asked me what kind of diaper bag I got, what brand I got, what color I got. So this is a key item, right? Diaper Diaper bag is really, really important, um, and we all tend to have these really big ones because right. we want to be prepared when we're out in the world for baby. My, my purses for myself are ginormous, so I don't know oh, how yeah, big I need to. Oh yeah, carrying okay. a purse anymore. No more purses. No, it's no, not your purse and diaper bag. Well, where, oh, are you, okay. where are you putting the baby? <laughs> I'm so okay. not ready for this. Okay, okay, yes, diaper <laughs> all right. bag. So put your wallet and all of that okay. stuff in the diaper bag. But what I was going to say is that baby stuff is really, really small. Yeah and it tends to get really lost in the shuffle of the diaper bag. So I like using like a little travel cube oh, so compartments to, within to keep the bag. everything okay. together. Um, little mesh organizers so you can see keep through. Up. Yeah, so that way you see everything and there's just other clothes and uh -huh. stuff, but that way everything's really handy right when you need it. And travel size like wipes yeah. and things, that's yeah. very good. Yeah, and you can get refillable stuff too. Okay. So the other thing that the packing cubes are really good for is an extra set of clothes. Okay, so this <laughs> week, we're running out of time, but we've got to say an extra set of clothes for the baby and for yourself. Yes. Because you yourself can get covered in things. Stuff. Expelled from child. Yes. Okay, exactly. so this, our little storage, this I like, this is for little socks. And little, and little outfits. sleepers, onesies, whatnot. The little drawers tend to get really cluttered. cluttered. Yeah, this way you can separate everything, really see what you have. Yeah, because I figure that if I lose adult socks, little ones are just out, oh, out, yeah, no, off they're gone. the question. They're gone. And then very quickly, this what is, is this? Uh, this is a little closet doubler. If you don't have a lot of space in the actual closet, you hang that onto the existing rod and you can hang clothes up from the top, from the bottom. You're instantly doubling the amount of space you have and no installation required. Okay, so you're a hanger of clothes, not so much a folder or I'm both. I'm a folder and a hanger. Okay. It just depends. And that really grows with the kid, too. It was like a Kenny uh, Rogers song. I'm a folder. <laughs> no. I'm a hanger. Allison, thank you so much uh, no for joining problem. us this morning. I'm a little bit scared because I didn't realize half of this stuff, but at least I know it now, and knowing is half the battle. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. 